I mean, the All Energy Conference, it's an enormous conference, 8,000 people through it in the next two days, one of the biggest conferences in the world in uh, renewable energy, is showing that Scotland is at the centre of low carbon technologies. In terms of support from the Scottish Government, we're supporting the infrastructure, which is allowing the deployment of uh, marine wind technology, we're supporting the commercialisation of wave and tidal power, and we're supporting the research into enhanced oil recovery for, for carbon capture. So in all of these areas of low carbon technology, Scotland intends to, to be a world leader. Uh, what the First Minister announced today, the Marine Renewable Commercialisation Fund, this fund is now about the getting those machines from the test phase deployed as arrays in the water off the coast of Scotland. So it's very much aimed, as the, in, in parallel with other programmes at the UK level, about making sure that the funding is available for this significant major new step, making sure we've got the facilities, the infrastructure to enable the industry to grow here. So things like the Renewable Infrastructure Plan and Fund are aimed very much at supporting the development of ports. So the announcement earlier about the, uh, the first allocation of funding to the Westway uh, port in, uh, in Renfrew which is the first of what will hopefully be a number of announcements over the course of the, the year. The vision for Westway and Steel Engineering is, is to create long-term employment to support the, the, the renewable energy sector uh, and bring business and bring industry back to Scotland and hopefully Westway will now be firmly on the map as a renewable hub. The work that's ongoing in Renfrew at the moment is to, to dredge the River Cart and dredge uh, the basin and there's also infrastructure work to the dock and we will be installing a link span facility to allow us to load barges without the use of craneage, which has got a significant cost. Scotland has half, just over half actually, of the demonstrator and the experimental projects in wave and tidal power. You know, Scotland has half and the rest of the world has half. But we want to take these and bring them to commercialisation and this fund is specifically to support taking demonstrator projects to full commercialisation. We have projects like Scottish Power Hammerfest uh, and there's a a key machine successfully demonstrated in the E-Day in the Orkney Islands, moving to a, a larger demonstrator or a filer and hopefully to full commercialisation in the Pentland Firth. And it's projects like that and there are many others that we intend to support with this fund, bringing jobs and investment to Scotland.